Good morning friends welcome to another episode of 2023 World Cup with G Krishnan on Jiku Diaries YouTube channel I hope you all had a very ha happy and safe Diwali now we are into the last week of the World Cup 2023 and the last four teams are finalized as was uh, mentioned in the previous episode of uh, this random notes India take on New Zealand in the first semi final in Mumbai on uh, Wednesday followed by the second semi final between South Africa and Australia in Kolkata and then the grand finale in Ahmedabad on 19th of this month so joining me in this very special uh, episode of uh, random notes with uh, G Krishnan on Jiku Diaries is is, uh, is i would say my first my first editor in uh, sports journalism welcome to the show uh, mr joseph over thank you so much for doing this thank you for having me on the show jiku always a pleasure and always uh, nice talking to you i will always remember you as the one who got me into sports journalism i don't know if you remember that uh, um, that evening of late 1998 when i was in bangalore as a as a youngster looking for a job after doing a sports journalism course or sorry journalism course in bharatiya vidya bhavan in chennai i was in bangalore for a a series between india and uh, west indies and one evening i came to your office in deccan herald on on mg road mg road and you said there was a ad recently in deccan herald just apply uh, to that and i will always be thankful and grateful to you jo for the opportunity next to be thankful to god because god gave me the opportunity i was just there yeah that is true yeah yeah directly yeah so so joseph hoover is a very well traveled cricket journalist and he has covered cricket from all parts of not only india but also the world traveled uh, overseas covered a lot of uh, cricket world cups but in recent times maybe maybe a decade or so ago he has uh, and he has always been a wildlife enthusiast enthusiast and a lover of wildlife always working towards protecting and conserving wildlife so jo how have how how did this uh, thing happen about you know your love for wildlife how did it come about we'll come to cricket journalism cricket reporting a little later but then wildlife is also something which is also dear to my heart and i always enjoyed watching uh, the uh, wildlife programs on animal planet and uh, national geographic channel yeah uh, it's all uh, the while i was doing cricket reporting also cricket mm -hmm. writing Okay. Always had the penchant to write about wildlife, to go to wildlife reserves, to understand yes. what was happening there. Uh -huh. And uh, fortunately, I had good editors who also encouraged me uh -huh. to also write uh, on environment issues, forest issues, and uh, wildlife issues. Okay. Uh, so that gave me a fillip. So I said, why not? I mean, I could do both. Yeah. So those were good editors who I had, and uh, I could. uh to write both sports and uh, uh environment issues so that was right. good uh, and also what happened was that interest i took it on to the passed on to the indian cricketers yes uh, that was very very interesting because they all participated in that right and if you all remember i don't think many people remember 1996 world cup yes uh we were Uh, the team had decided to dedicate the title to tiger conservation if they had won the trophy okay okay and during the tour uh -huh. during the world cup everywhere they carried uh, a soft toy for tiger tiger soft toy oh wow even okay. in press conferences it carry uh -huh. during the travel on the flight they used to carry okay in fact uh, if you uh, if you can recall the former coach and former india cricketer mr sandeep patel right still has a uh, soft toy with him at his house his farm house oh wow so these all things which happen and the, for me environment was something which i said i need to contribute so mm -hmm. when i was uh, doing cricket writing at one point day i decided i said see i can always come back and write cricket mm -hmm. or cricket yeah but at this point in time i said let me dedicate my time for conservation and that's been good so far i've been contributing at least a pin edge to society Mm -hmm. I'm very content with that, and I always uh, thank the people around me who encouraged me and gave me the opportunities. And right. uh, it has given me such a pleasure that uh, I've been serving the government of Karnataka as a wildlife board member. Mm -hmm. uh, I've earned a little bit of respect wherein when I step in and say something has to be done, and the be it the forest officers or the government, they know that I mean business. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
all these are very encouraging signs and that today's uh, situation the crisis is so bad that mm-hmm. we don't do anything about it mm. uh, it becomes going to it's going to be more challenging for the future generation so i right. thought right. it's time we step up tell the truth to the powers mm-hmm. call a spade a spade even if we have to risk right few of our things that's okay but we are doing that and uh, but the only disappointing thing is that uh, we do not uh, see youngsters coming along we want them to join this thing because otherwise we're all lost it as it is we are in extreme climate events today uh-huh. we talk about extreme rains that floods and right. then we have drought so people are in a flux now we're all in a crisis i'm happy that so many cricketers have joined in like sachin tendulkar they if you remember we were in new zealand when i requested him saying that listen uh, this more to life than just cricket you need to contribute something so he said what should i do okay so i requested him and quietly forced him into talking about um, dedicating his uh, thing for uh, conservation he we had a press conference in uh, hamilton okay uh, where he said yes i'm for tiger conservation we need to conserve our tigers uh-huh. and subsequently he got 161 163 hamilton okay and during the press conference he dedicated that 160 or to tiger conservation so wow. they all played a part kumpe is played a part rahul is played a part uh-huh. now if you look at sandeep patel has done so much yusuf right. patan has done arbhajan has done muri yes. vijay has done right uh, reform is in san patan is and sanjay manjrek as a diad while uh, while so, so, so all let you look at it we have also brought in something called bringing cricket and wildlife together okay we married cricket and wildlife with the tiger cup that's right yes we've been conducting for the past 11 years in the karnataka right and that's quite a popular tournament where we encourage 112 114 116 16 boys to play uh-huh. and also be part of the tiger conservation movement the wildlife right. conservation movement right and that's uh-huh. been so far good and i should always say that thanks to all our cricketers uh, yeah, true. they have put in they have always been there let's do something about it uh-huh. like we said vvs lakshman was there during the last felicitation okay. where we were felicitating uh, forest guards okay okay you know what the real uh, soldiers of a forest yeah right uh, the watchers, forest watchers so they they are, they are not they are not in the uh, forefront but they are the men men behind the scenes and do the most important uh, work they are the foot soldiers so uh. lakshman tell us to them mayank agrawal has done k right. rahul has done oh, wow. sunil doshi has done roger uh-huh. benny has done uh-huh. Va- varun arun in fact we are so happy that he accepted to come and do the felicitation twice Okay okay so he loves the wildlife or something not many Excellent. people know about that but That's he right. loves wildlife mm-hmm. Yusuf Patan is just crazy about wildlife and he Yusuf Pat- doesn't doesn't Yusuf Patan have a couple of wild animals at his home i saw him having uh, uh, some uh, 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 rare variety of birds or something at his home or in his cage uh, where i saw his for him with photos being posted so that shows the love for uh, the wild life is it and it's farm yeah in his farm he has horses he has cats dogs wow. mm-hmm. he's got okay. cows he loves them he loves animals right right he must start to start a zoo oh <laughs> i say crazy patan crazy patan yeah we so... we been together on a couple of uh, wild life visits okay okay in fact abhik pandya was there one of the visits to oh excellent Indian. Okay okay Yusuf, um, so Ardik has been interested last time also I met Ardik uh, mm-hmm. Pandya at the NCA right a uh, couple of years ago we uh-huh. spoke about it and he still remember that uh, we have been to Manipur and he said yes we need to do something more mm-hmm. he said uh, let's do something so i'm hoping when they find right. time to do this mm-hmm. so everybody has contributed i mean sachin look at sachin's dedication also yes. today he is yes. enjoying it we're happy that he's enjoying while life goes into all the uh, wildlife reserves tiger right. reserves right so he's enjoying it right and no recent, re- recently recently uh, not not long ago there was uh, you no know, sachin had posted on his uh, m- uh, social media channel about a visit to tadoba national park in uh, near nagpur uh, so that's something that you know and which which people love not only uh, not only these cricketers but generally even uh, a common man would love a common person would love to be uh, watching just just the sight of a tiger passing by even if it means waiting for hours together i have myself experienced that uh, in 2019 when 
when we, we were on a visit to Nagpur for the JK Bose and on the off day we went to Tadoba, saw this uh, tiger Maya and it was, it was just a sight to behold, uh, Joe. I just couldn't, uh, I, did, I couldn't take my eyes off uh, Maya and it was, it was so beautiful. I mean, when you, every time you see a tiger, you get goosebumps. Yes, yes. But not many people realize the importance of a tiger. That's right. The tiger <coughs> reflects the health of the forest. Only when the forest is healthy, yes, we yes. benefit from its biodiversity. True, so, true. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is something that we all need to understand. This is, this is an apex uh, species. Mm -hmm. It's the top of the food chain. The national animal of uh, the country. Yeah. It's a national animal, okay, it's just a national animal, but the important role it plays is in the eco ecosystem. It's right, amazing. right. Mm -hmm. All the tigers, they're all gone. People don't realize that. But aren't aren't the numbers uh, uh, slightly encouraging? As you know, there was a decline in the number of tigers, but then in the recent times, hasn't the numbers uh, gone up? And isn't that an encouraging news? You how do you uh, because you know you are the person uh, right there. You know what is happening. So, well, what is the actual scene? See, the tiger numbers have been increasing over a period of time. It's just not it did not happen like a magic in the right. last five years. Or 10 right. Years. Right. Steady increase because the government has made all the efforts to ensure it's protected. Right. Yes, there's more to be done, more protection to be given, but unfortunately, that's not the not the case. Mm -hmm. So, tiger numbers are good. Now we talk about 1,300, 1,367 tigers okay. as per the 2022 census. Right. And now what we hear in the last one year, it's gone up to about 3,690. Okay. Uh, but they're also losing them very rapidly. Okay. It's okay. Not pushing at me. Mm -hmm. So this year alone, we have lost almost about 170 tigers. Oh no! Okay. In the last 10 months, so mm -hmm. that is a pretty high so, number. Joe, in your endeavor to uh, save tiger and you uh, know all that, I'm sure you know you, it, it, nothing goes without the challenges that you face and uh, and and also the obstacles and also the opposition to your uh, effort. So how how do you overcome those challenges and how tough are those challenges? Well, if you have the will to do it, you can do that. Yes, mm -hmm. it is challenging. You mm -hmm. find all kind of obstacles. First of all, you find challenges from the forest department itself. Okay. Because when you tell them they're not doing the job, they're not going to like it. Mm -hmm. And there have been occasions when they even tried to arrange people to attack us. Oh, okay. And when you also write against uh, people who are indulging in... Uh, poaching and smuggling of wood. Uh -huh. At that time, they sent people to your office also. So if we all remember Deccaner in those days, 1999. Oh, yes. Yes. I've seen some article about uh, timber smugglers and uh -huh. then they are barged into the Deccaner office oh, oh. in 1999. I was in covering the India New Zealand match. Okay, okay. And Vijay Vazwaj was making his debut. Uh -huh. And... Uh, uh, subsequently, since they didn't find me in the office, they went home where my mm -hmm. wife and child were alone. Okay, okay. And after the cops took action. But uh -huh. these things happen. There are okay. various challenges. And we have NGOs also. Right. We right. have a lot of thieves in the NGOs who are oh. making money out of uh, in the name of the tiger. Okay, okay. And they're also killing tigers. Uh -huh. They're enjoying life. Whereas the real uh, fighters, the real guys who are uh, protecting our tigers are our forest watchers. Forest watchers, right. I mean, we have principal chief conservator of forests, traditional priest, principal chief conservator of forests. Uh -huh. their, their job is more administrative, but on okay. field, it is basically done by the watchers and right. they're not paid. That's okay. an unfortunate thing. Oh, okay. They're taken on a temporary basis, treated like scum. Uh -huh. They're even, when they're given uh, their ration, weekly ration, even that is stolen. Oh. They're okay. paid salaries once in four months. Uh -huh. This is a story, unfortunately. Okay. And here, when, when we talk about tiger numbers, people are all jumping about saying that tiger numbers have increased. Okay. But who is protecting it? Not right. anybody. Right. Not anybody in the government. Right. If right. the government was so serious about protecting it, uh -huh. then they should be doing a lot more. There's right. no money. Right. Right. Tiger reserves have not been paid money. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. So, how do you do protection? Right. Mm -hmm. Nice to come and say, yes, uh, tiger numbers have increased. Okay. And even there, uh, a lot of experts have questioned because they've in included even cubs in that, one-year-old okay. cubs. Oh, okay. Okay. 
This has been a contention from the last uh, census 2018, right. where they included cubs to increase the numbers. Okay. Because okay. the government had to show that despite us cutting down the forests for development, uh -huh. our tiger numbers are increasing. increasing. So that okay. was very immature of the government to okay. do that. Uh -huh. And today we are feeling the pain. We know what is happening because we are on the field. We get to hear what's happening there. Uh -huh. There has to be a sincere, honest effort from the government. They right. need to have uh, no compromise on protection of tiger and so protection of forests. Mm -hmm. When you protect the forests, the tigers are protected. Right. And the tigers are protected, the entire species are protected. Okay. So biodiversity is good, yes. and then it will benefit us. But unfortunately, mm -hmm. that's not happening. Mm -hmm. And uh, hence we see uh, the tigers encroach or you no know, entering the villages, cities, and uh, uh, you know attacking uh, the domestic animals, and which 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 not a good sign. And you also mentioned about the foot soldiers being the real heroes, and uh, I'm sure, you know, and it's it's like a thankless job, like like the umpires and wicket keepers of cricket. How much have you been following? We'll come to World Cup uh, 2023. How much have you been following this? Uh, 2023 World Cup and the World Cup, oh, no. and the, we are in the last week, four uh, semi-finalists spotted. You think these are the best four teams according to you? Definitely. As we uh, talking about returning to cricket, I was away from cricket for a very, very long time because okay. I dedicated time for conservation. Right. It's just that the Canada channel said we need you as a panelist during our shows. Uh -huh. So that's where the embers started, uh, okay. thing, and then Times now did a couple of shows, okay. and that got me back to you know the rhythm of talking cricket, writing cricket. Okay. And of course, now when you see this particular World Cup, yes, somebody will be the champion. My yes. team has to be the champion. Yes. But the way I see it, the way the performance has been during this World Cup is that uh, I would uh, give my uh, give the trophy, though they're not the champions, I'll give the trophy to Afghanistan, the kind of cricket they play. They're okay. the cricket they play. Okay. They believe okay. in them. Uh -huh. And coming to the semi finalists, yes, this was expected. These are the four teams we had already drawn right. uh, for the semi finals. He uh -huh. said these are the six teams going to be there, except England had a yes. percent chance, but this was what was defined at the start of the tournament. Uh -huh. So, this is very interesting. Now, it is going to be a match between India and New Zealand. So, right. that is going to be a cracker of a match because New Zealand are now pushovers. If yes. you look at the entire World Cup, now India, nine matches they played. Yes. They had a... They steamrolled everybody. Yes. But the only tough match they had was against New Zealand. Right. Yes. And New Zealand didn't have their entire squad in. Correct. So, yes. And they are given their record in the World Cup. They've entered five semifinals, as we all know, and yes. the third straight fin final yes. from 2015-19-23. If they can enter the final, it'll be very interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a team to watch because India has enjoyed the run so far. Mm -hmm. um, we hope the run continues. We win all 11 matches right. in 2000. I mean, on 2019, I mean, uh, on 19th of November, we emerged champions. Right. But the challenge lies with New Zealand because they're a team of competitors. They prepare well. It's not in their bowling strength right now. Their feeling is outstanding. Mm -hmm. which, which will, between India and uh, New Zealand, if you put the feeling uh, mark, you give nine to New Zealand and six right. to India. Okay. So right. that's the way. It is. And feeling is a very important aspect of cricket. Yes. Let's not forget True. that. It's not just pulling and biting. True, true. Like but that edge they have. So yes. How they ride on that, how they perform in the conditions in Bombay, uh -huh. all matter. But true. You can't take New Zealand lightly. Very true. Similarly, going to the uh, Australia, uh, South, South Africa match, that yes. is going to be a big match too. Uh -huh. Because uh, um, Australia, if you look at the, the way they play cricket, once they start winning, they just rise. They just team. I mean, they maintain the momentum and go big. That right. has been the history of cricket with Australia. Mm -hmm. Australian cricket history, if you read that, they will always, if they're winning, they just keep winning. Correct. If they go down, they go down. That's the, that's the way they played their cricket. Mm -hmm. And they've come back after a couple of defeats. Yes. They lost to India badly. And now... The way they are playing, especially now if you look at Maxwell scoring the fastest 100, then yes. getting a double 100, then you have uh, 
uh, Marsh, Mitchell Marsh performing, Warner is in form. Uh, if you look at Smith is doing his bit. Yes. Uh, somewhere lower middle order is left with the concern. But let us see. I mean, and South Africa, if you look at it, they're batting, they're smashing everything. Yes. They have big hitters. Yes. Andre Klassen and Jacob about, talk about uh, Miller, David yes. Miller. Yes. He's a guy who can really come and knock off 40 runs and 10 balls. True, true. Mm. So that is the firepower they have, and they have a very good bowling line. Bowling lineup, right. Equally good. That's, uh, Australia also have a good bowling line, a fast bowling lineup. Mm-hmm. So it'll be interesting. I mean, the, yes. um, the Eden Gardens pitch is going to be a different ball game because the ball can keep low, mm-hmm. it can get lower as the day goes. So let's right. see. That's a different. Uh, uh, well, I mean, that's for another day. Right. For current, tomorrow when India take on uh, uh, New Zealand, mm-hmm. it's going to be the match of the tournament for India because okay. they can't take them lightly. Right. Jo, My well, fear is that sometimes in cricket, it's always, you know, you have a purple patch mm-hmm. and suddenly there'll be a slump. I only hope that doesn't catch up. The law right. of averages should not catch up with India yes. for, for, uh, for now. The law of averages can wait for a further uh, two more matches and then play it. Uh, yeah, we are hoping that. Yeah. Let's hope the India wins because we need this very badly. Mm-hmm. But again, talking away from this triumph and all the stuff, we look yeah. at it. Like India today, mm-hmm. we talk about a population of 1.4 billion. Right. New Zealand has hardly about 30 million people. Correct. Maximum 30 mm-hmm. million people. Yeah. They are producing cricketers. They are getting match winners. Right. Look at India. We have all the infrastructure. We have the money. Yes. We have everything, power, everything. We are the superpower of cricket in the, in the world. Yes. But, but look at the sad state of our thing. We don't have a replacement for Arvid Pandya. Right, right. We didn't have true. a replacement for Kapil Day for a very, very long time from the true, 90s. True, true, true. Now, today, he is a very key player. Arthik is not there. He, yes. he is a team very, very important for us. Yes. And we don't have anybody around us. Yes. All the matches that we're playing, IPL, this, that, and all the stuff. Where is the replacement for Arthik? True, true. Yes. We don't have. Yes. And if you look at Shahul Thakur coming as all rounder, we don't know whether he's a bowling all rounder or batting, batting all rounder. Right. So hmm. these things, have, you know, the, the, the selectors and the team management have done. Their best to bring people together. Yes. Uh, the best to squad together. But beyond that, what? Right. Once Rohit goes, once yes. Kohli goes, worthy. Yes. yes. Where are we going to stand? So that's True. going to be difficult. So this is what we need to plan ahead. Australians do this well ahead. Right. They, if they finish 2023, they're looking at 2027. Mm-hmm. So that is something we need to do. We talk about a lot of money. We talk about surging money. We have the infrastructure. Mm. We're building stadiums everywhere. Right. But where, is, where are the cricketers? This is all we have mm-hmm. to show. True. I mean, I, there, there is something which, uh, as a cricket writer, former cricket writer, I feel worried about. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm thinking that if we don't win this cup this time, it's going to be a challenge for us to win it back again. Okay. For the next, okay. So maybe next three tournaments, three mm-hmm. four tournaments, it'll be very Talk- tough. Talking, talking about immediate uh, match, the next immediate match for India, what should India guard against? Uh, you know, they've had, like you said, a p- purple patch and not... Uh, uh, except, except for New Zealand, they have not been challenged much. So what should India guard against uh, when they take on New Zealand? No, India should play fearless cricket. Yes. We have seen in the last two World Cups, they're flattened. Uh-huh. They should maintain the win. doesn't matter whether we lose or win or lose. They should not take the pressure into the game. Right. They should play the fearless cricket as Rohit has been rightly doing yes. from the start. Yes. He's doing some immense stuff. I mean, these, these are the starts we want. Uh-huh. And uh, Kohli has sustained it. Now, luckily, Shreyas has come to, to is in good nick. Uh-huh. Rahul has scored 100. Right. And Jereja, of course, he's always there. Uh, but... Uh, what we need to do, we need to sustain that. Our bowling has been outstanding. We have never seen a better bowling unit than this in a long while. Okay. So we had good bowlers. But uh-huh. To sustain it for such a long time, uh, successfully and uh, continuously, is something that we should credit this particular team. Uh-huh. Uh, I mean, the way Kuldeep has bowled, the other way yeah. Jareja has bowled right from ball one. Right. And after Bumrah, we know what he's capable of. Yeah. Shami has come big. 
Siraj, yes, been erratic, but he uh-huh. produced wickets here and there to destabilize the opponent batting. Uh-huh. And there is a concern which I'm a little worried about is that our depth in the batting after right. Jadeja, who right. can we? Mm-hmm. If at all we have a slump, as it happened against uh, Australia, right. when we were two for three, right. and Kohli and uh, KL Rahul okay. put things together uh-huh. with a wonderful partnership. Right. Uh, now, what if such a situation comes? Are we ready for it? Right. That is something is a concern. I'm worried about it. Uh-huh. You look at the New Zealand team. Whatever the condition, uh, situation, they play fearless cricket. That's right. They just and come out blasting. Look at that Mitchell. He yes. just come goes after the bowlers. Yes. And, and New Zealand is the team actually, which which they don't have uh, the burden of you know the weight of expectations and they have nothing to lose, uh, isn't it? It's, yeah. uh, it is just that that keeps them going. Yeah, that's good about them because there's free spirit that they play. You yes. Know? Mm. Yes, they might be disappointed that they did not win the World Cup last time yes. over some ridiculous uh, yes. decision there in uh, yeah. in England. Yes. Uh, but the way they play, they just enjoy themselves. I mean, whether it is uh, 30 for 3 or 50 for 7, they just come and hit, right. hit the ball. Right. And that, that shows. I mean, if uh, some of the key players are not injured, it will be even more uh, difficult for India. Mm. That's also the series, though yes. they have, don't have much of, uh, uh, not many youngsters playing. Look at one right. Indian is settled there, yes. and uh, Rachin Ravindran is doing so so well. Yes, yes. And that boy, if I remember, used to come and play matches against our academy here in Bangalore. Oh, wow. Okay. And regularly uh-huh. used to play, because his father is a good friend of mine, Ravi. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. So more often we used to play, and if I remember him... Uh, Rachin gave Keith, my son, okay. uh, he got, uh, he's called the Hut Ox team from New Zealand. Okay. So they used to come regularly. So they oh. were good friends. So Rachin gave the cap to Keith. Oh, wow. And I think he still has it with him. Okay, okay. Hutt That's Hutt nice. Yeah, Hut Ox, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hut mm-hmm. Ox, whatever the team name is. I right. don't figure it out. Okay. So, New Zealand, I hope we have a good match. Uh-huh. And of course, as always, we want India to win. That's right, yes. Joe, uh, what is it that uh, makes New Zealand click? You have toured New Zealand, you have covered World Cups uh, before. I remember once in 2004 when uh, you sent me to uh, uh, Bangladesh for the 2004 uh, Under-19 World Cup. I met uh, Dale Hadley who was who had come with the uh, so New Zealand Under-19. And he was uh, saying about the lack of uh, finance in uh, New Zealand cricket and was all, you know, in fact, when me and another journalist uh, from uh, Chennai were talking to him, he was looking for sponsors from India to support New Zealand cricket. I'm sure things must have improved now, but you have been there, you have seen uh, New Zealand, you have uh, seen the country, covered cricket there. What is it about New Zealand cricket? What is what is uh, the theme there? See, what I've noticed is they don't have uh, the financial support like what we have in India. Right, right. Support. They don't have that marketing because we have the number of people here watching cricket. Hmm. So that gives you the revenue. Right. You don't have that many people there, one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And only when there's an India, uh, New Zealand match, there's a bit of revenue for them. Or okay. Australia, France. Uh, tra- France, tra- Tasman, tra- right. Yeah. Uh, New Zealand, Australia matches. For yes. Some Yes. So that's the time they get fun. Uh-huh. And they, they're not a rich board, but they're sustaining and they, there's a lot of support from the government. Right, right. Like all sports are equally supported by the government. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. So we don't have many cricketers. If you look at it, if we have about uh, uh, 50 lakh cricketers, they might not even have about 50,000 cricketers. 50,000 cricketers, true, true. Mm. So the competition among them is big. Right. And see, the advantage they have is they're always they're born athletes. Right. They are from the beginning. They are into athletics or some sport or the other. Mm-hmm. And when they pick, come to cricket, as Rahul Dravid always says, good to play all sports before right. you get into one particular game. Right. They get the advantage there. Mm-hmm. But somehow they smile, you know, whatever it is, it's like the That's right. yeah. Yeah. contentment. And they want to do something. They want to do yes. their country proud. They give their best. And, I and mean, if they have the kind of support that uh, the BCCI gives, yes. it would have been a different ballgame. True. 
and uh, whenever there is an award for spirit of cricket in any tournament it's always mo- mo- most of the times it's new zealand that wins so they play it fair and uh, square and you know with i would like to said with a smile on their uh, lips joe you have covered the world cups before uh, you uh, gave full time to wildlife conservation how was it covering world cups then and you know what have been your memorable experiences and uh, some some uh, interesting anecdotes that you can uh, come up with oh the most the best i remember is the 96 tour because of selfish reasons okay. regarding the tiger on tiger okay <laughs> okay so okay playing and carrying and carrying the stuff toys right uh, right right across to uh, across everywhere you know okay right right uh, and on the flights they used to carry it so mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, Vadeka, so he was a WWF director, so he okay. was also involved in that. Okay. So it was good. It was good. That was something. And then, of course, uh, they been to England in 1999. Right. One of my innings, I remember Sachin having lost his dad and coming right. back to England yes. and getting the 140. Yeah. That, that was something that uh, really strikes out. Uh-huh. and of course the performance in the 2003 world cup in right. you know, south africa right we were outshining the match against uh, uh, against pakistan yes. at tenchirian yes is something that i always relish because okay. uh, the you could see only indians like this okay okay flexing around the stands uh-huh. and the way sachin played the way rahul contributed yeah. everybody did it right right mm. so, That, that is always something that I cherish, and of course the match in Bangalore, 1996 match between India and uh, Pakistan. Pakistan. Oh yes. The Raja Jereja brought out that uh, scintillating yes. run. Yes, yes. The odds and how the roads were packed, and I was supposed to travel the same night to Chennai to cover the New Zealand Australia match. Right, right, okay. And I was stuck in Deccan Air Office. Oh. I couldn't move a car until about two in the morning. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, also, mm-hmm. in fact, people were just uh, enjoying themselves right from Chinnaswamy <coughs> Stadium to Trinity Circle. Okay, okay. There are people all over. I mean, the mm-hmm. Brigade Road of fact. Right. And the Road of fact. Right. So, so, I mean, those those are memories that I came out of the office saying that we need to leave because we need to catch up sleep also. We had the match very next right. day. We had to right. write a review copy. Yeah. Uh. So that 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 is something, and of course the last match in uh, uh, in uh, the 1996 uh, in Calcutta. Calcutta, right? Calcutta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was True. a great escape for us because the entire thing was cordoned off. Yes, yes. People were setting the ground on fire, the stands right. on fire. Yes, yes. The police left the charge, and we were journalists. We were stuck in the press box. Okay. Fortunately for me, I managed to reach the office mm-hmm. and I gave my report over the phone. Okay. Okay. So Sri Kumar was the guy there. He took down every word that I said. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. And then this match fixing story broke out. Somebody right. called me saying there was a thousand five hundred crores uh, involved oh. in this game, and he said it's the biggest money involved in uh, uh, racing in in the racing industry in India. Okay. This okay. Is, this is phenomenal. So mm-hmm. that was a major story I did. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. We broke the story. I think it was on page one and dictionary. Okay. Right. So there was a lot of allegations. I mean, we've mm-hmm. seen. I, I've been part of the team for a very long time, so right. we knew right. what was happening and mm-hmm. some of the players were not happy with what was happening. They tried their best to stop it, but still okay. they couldn't. Okay. Okay. That was a very sad thing. I'm right. sorry for Sachin especially mm-hmm. because he was trying to do his best everywhere, but right, right. Then he had some elements doing things the other mm-hmm. way around mm-hmm. in the interest of right. money, right. not in the interest of the country. Mm-hmm. It was very unfortunate. That was a painful moment. Right. But nobody can do anything. Uh, okay. Our friends, our uh, Joseph over has not only covered wildlife, not only covered cricket. but i very well remember uh, his involvement in, uh, in 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 tamil nadu when tsunami broke out in 2004 and uh, that is something which you know he went to was sent by deccan herald and covered the tsunami uh, from the scene and uh, he was involved in all the uh, uh, carrying out the relief work while also 
sending his uh, all the reports from the spot joe can you talk, talk about that uh, phase of your uh, reporting oh yeah that i'll never forget because uh, somehow the general bar had returned to hari kumar uh uh-huh. he and hari kumar had suggested that i go because they knew i am in the forest i do a lot of forest stories right right and i'm uh, with the nature so i can then he knew i had the ability so they suggested that i go they mm-hmm. sent a photographer i had a car and we left for the place okay and uh, it was uh, i mean when you see the destruction around you hmm. you're always you know pained right i guess with that we had to report we had to do human interest stories true uh, that was crazy and uh, something i remember talking to sachin from uh, the spot and mm-hmm. uh, sachin said let me have an orphanage in my father's name okay okay uh kudlu mm-hmm. okay nagapat not kudlu nagapat nagapat okay so i had spoken to the deputy commissioner there okay. the dc or what they call there in tamil nadu is different hmm. uh, so i had called and spoken to him and said that this is what sachin wants to do mm-hmm. he wants to have an orphanage in his father's name okay Sachin was, you know, forthcoming. He was just spontaneous when I called him. He said, right. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So, but then, at that point in time, what happened was uh, the, the district collector mm-hmm. there is called the district collector. Right. He said, "I would suggest let him not do it right now because a lot of hanky panky happening." Okay. What okay. was happening was in the name of uh, um, social uh, work. You know, adopting people, they were kidnapping people. Oh, okay. So he didn't. He was such a good man, the district collector. Okay. He said, okay. "Let Sachin's name not be restored. I mean, void till this." Okay. Okay. So, so I remember mm-hmm. Vivek Oberoi was there. Right. The actor. Right. The actor Vivek Oberoi. Yeah. Yes. With his team, mm-hmm. he was doing his bit. And okay. Something which I always love about Sachin is his spontaneity in doing things. Right. Right. And mm-hmm. I remember once we were in uh, Pakistan once. uh since we had nothing to do we were on the phone because mm-hmm. it would be meet because right. of all the security issues so right. on the phone we were talking then i said sachin why do you guys do something as a cricket team why don't you all contribute to society he said let okay. me let, tell me what we should do okay. i said let's have a charity event we could very good have auction and uh, and so that so mm-hmm. within about 20 minutes he had already reached out to somebody in uh, um uh, in uh, he read okay and for some of punjab and told them this in i need this number of bats and that's be sent to joe's house in bangalore oh wow excellent so that is something mm-hmm. that is amazing about this wonderful sachin bendukar right he true he gives not only the cricket is a gift to society is a gift to india yes. and to the world that's why i rate him true because mm-hmm. it just came spontaneous and right, then he right. said to do it and then we put things together uh-huh. we had the first auction in association with the decanate uh-huh. uh we did it in bangalore right and yes subsequently we did a second auction also raising money for the, the lesser privileged uh, right. people the, uh, the blind okay the okay. underprivileged okay I mean, it's fast take everywhere. I mean, everybody did their bit. Much uh, mm-hmm. did their bit. Dravid did their bit. Right. Uh, everybody, in fact, even Kumble, mm-hmm. he was associated with fame. Right. Uh, even the Teva was associated with Delhi's India. Mm-hmm. And Ganguly was associated with somebody in uh, Kolkata. So everybody okay. was okay. there. True. And that was brilliant. Right. I mean, that is something what we should never forget and never ever, you know. I get their contribution. Mm-hmm. All these cricketers, the wonderful cricketers, right. said, "Let's do something for society." Right. right. And I think that came out of Sachin's uh, spontaneity. Spontaneity, right? So you're talking yeah. about uh, the cricketers coming forward to help. How have uh, I'm sure you would have uh, as as good uh, a contact with uh, the non cricketing sports persons, not only from Bangalore but also uh, around the country. How have uh, how has their response been towards uh, this kind of social work i think these are all fantastic people right gambhir does that mm-hmm. ajay jadeja does quite right like. right you know who is that you know mm-hmm. you know a lot of people do that so. and non non cricketers non cricketing sports persons i mean see unfortunately i was stuck with cricket so okay okay then right. get into other sports my mm-hmm. contacts were uh, not much okay uh, okay 
I could reach out to them. Of course, yes, there are a few greats who always have great respect, like yeah. Prakash Padukone. Right, right. Being Bangalore based. Yes. Of course. And then uh, one thing I always have great respect is uh, Eknath Solkar. Oh, wow. Okay. Because that gentleman, I had come, Sachin and Hasbi, to come to Bombay. Okay. To play stuff. Mm-hmm. So I'd gone there, and then uh, Eknath Solkar came to the press box at Vankade. Mm hmm. Uh, he said, I also want to do something for this. So I heard all the cricketers are doing uh, this uh, charity work. Right. Even I want to contribute. Oh, that's and so And at that stage, Mr. Eknath Sokar was in a bad shape. Yes. Financially. Okay. Uh-huh. But he gave his World Cup jacket. He oh, said, wow. let this be optioned and let okay. this money be used for something. Oh, How so many sweet. people have such a heart? True, exactly, yeah. You know, that is amazing, amazing yeah, what yeah. he did. And I uh, hats off to the gentleman. True. And of course, Arvajan Singh, you cannot forget. Yes. He's had his ball, the 2001 test against... Uh, right, right, uh, Australia. Against Australia at uh, Calcutta. Yes. He gave it away. Okay, he okay. Said, this is not what I want to... Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What this ball can contribute to others. Right. So unfortunately, those days, the culture in India wasn't great about auctioning. Okay, okay. They didn't get a good prize. They should okay. have got at least about, even Sachin's bat was getting only about 5 lakhs maximum. Okay, okay. And they should be talking on a crore. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And that's all the time it was not there. I think right. this is where we started. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I think we should again revive. And right. I tell myself, now that I'm away in conservation, mm-hmm. let me contribute as much as I can. Because right. I believe that God has given me an opportunity to do this. Mm-hmm. Because I have the, what do you call it, the ability to speak, the ability right. to write. Right. I have the contacts. And yes. God has given me the courage. Right. And I could reach out and do whatever I can. Right. So that is something right. that I said, this is something that I can contribute. Mm-hmm. Cricket, I can always write. I can always yes. talk. Can always like true. Yeah, yeah. So, so, conservation is something, and I hope more cricketers will get serious about it because mm-hmm. I would also want them to talk to the government, saying that okay. when things are going wrong, they also to speak up. Mm-hmm. Because their right. very own children and their progeny are going to suffer in the future. Uh-huh. But somehow True. we see the reluctance because of other, uh, other auxiliary reasons. But people should speak up now, otherwise we are doomed. True, true. Yes. We are already <laughs> neck deep in trouble. Mm-hmm. True. So, so uh, more of our celebrities speak up and tell the government enough is enough. Right. We are seeing calamity after calamity. Mm-hmm. We took Himalaya. Right. We talk about the Joshimath uh, land subsidence. We had it became yeah. a flood. Uh, yes. Easter Dam uh, shattered, and then mm-hmm. we had the recent tunnel uh, cr- crumbling in Uttarakhand. Right. So these things are happening, and when we don't speak up now, who's going to speak up? After true. everything is over, true. their very own children are going to suffer, right? True, true. So let us hope true. all people come together. This yes. is our only hope. We are making our effort. Right. And our contribution, we can say, is just a pin in, nothing more than that. Mm-hmm. But, but still, uh, we are satisfied. We are content. Let's continue doing what best we can until God gives us a chance. Yes, Joe. So, Joe, uh, on that note, uh, may, may your work uh, reach even uh, greater heights and uh, uh, larger, wider uh, people. Congratulations on uh, your effort, uh, selfless effort, I would say, in uh, in, in uh, say, protecting the environment, saving tiger, conserving the forest, and uh, wish you all the best. And uh, and uh, may 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 get more strength to do what you love doing, Joe. And and also, on, uh, another uh, request is that you, you also find time and come back to cricket uh, reporting. We need you, Joe. All right. Thank you. I'll try to do that. Thank you. Thanks a lot and take care. Thank you so much, Joe. Yeah. Friends, so on that note, uh, uh, this was it was fantastic talking to uh, Mr. Joseph Hoover on not only his cricket uh, uh, coverage or cricket reporting and writing, but also saving Tiger and uh, conserving the forest. So let us wish him all the best in his endeavor and until next time, take care and stay safe. Thank you. Bye.